Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've done a farming simulator video, um, mod review, roleplay, or otherwise. Um, and as you all know, with my mod reviews, I don't, well, not really reviews, but uh, my kind of spotlights. Um, I like to do a spotlight on mods that I feel deserve a look at. And I gotta say, there hasn't been a ton of mods coming out that are super special. Not to say that they're not good. They're just not really something that I feel the need to take a look at. But that has changed because we have a couple mods um, that we're going to look at today that I feel deserve a look. The first that we have is this here. I'm going to call this the uh, the VS Truck because that's what it looks like it says. There's really nothing special about this. Just the fact that I really like the way it looks. This is a really cool looking rig. Let's uh, hop in this thing here. Start her up. Sounds good. And I love that horn. We got beacons. All the lights that you can expect there. Take a look in the interior. Pretty good. I mean, this uh, this reminds me of kind of a low, low def American truck simulator, I guess. But, uh, pretty nice. Pretty nicely detailed. If we turn on our lights, see the dashboard lights up. You have the headlight indicator on, the high beam, signal lights. No beacon, though. Take it for a little bit of sp little spin here. Like I said, there's really nothing special about this. Just for the fact that I really like the way it looks. I thought it looked pretty cool. So we will take a look at this in the store. It's under trucks. Let's scroll all the way to the end. Then we have the VS truck. 95,000. It's the PT600. 600 horse. Uh, beacons and bumper. And the beacons... Bumper, and that's really it. And just set up, you have the 405, which is 405 horse, 550, which is 550 horse, and the 600, which is 600 horse. Main color, I mean, the white and red look really good, but you can change them to these now. You would think it have custom colors, but it really doesn't. So let's, uh, let's try that there. And the design color. Yeah, again, no real special ones. Except they are like that metallic look to them. So I actually like that too. That looks really good. Room color, stainless steel, dark steel, aluminum. Always go with the chrome. Love the chrome. And that is the VS truck, guys. 98,500. Not too bad. But, what I had to show you is this beast. Now, this is truly something. This is the Roadrunner Plus, and look at this. Now, this is the stock color. This is what, uh, what it comes with, the black and gold, and I absolutely love this. This looks so good. So many details on this. I mean, look at that. Look at the Roadrunner on the back of it. Man, they did a really good job on this, I gotta say. But, there are some things about this that are very cool. So let's hop in. Sounds good starting up. The one thing I will say that I'm not happy with is the horn on this. No, wait. Well... It's not too bad, but I just feel like the horn on the other one should be what's on here. Now, what really stands out is when you go in the cab. Look at this. Wow. The detail in this is just insane. 
This makes me want a trucking game so bad on console. It really does. But some of the cool things about this here is that if we press L1 and use the right stick up and down, <laughs> we can roll down the window. Look at that. That is so cool. It's little. You know, I know people have said it before when I've said things about this. Say, you know, it, no, you know, it doesn't matter and it doesn't serve a purpose. But yeah, it does. You know, I mean, again, this is a sim. It says simulator right in the title, so. I really appreciate little details like this. If we press R1, and same thing, we can roll down the passenger side window. Now, L1 and R1. <laughs> we can move the seat forward and backward, and up and down. <laughs> That is so cool. So basically, you could change the FOV. And I really appreciate that. Now, it also says select the steering mode, all wheel steering. So let's uh, go out here. As you can see. The front axle and the very rear axle turn with all wheel steering. If we press R1 and L3, front wheel steering. I don't know how many options there are, so we'll check this out. Okay, front wheel and all wheel. But this thing is a beauty. And it's got two, uh, three, three camera angles. We have this camera, this one here, which I'm assuming would be, if you had a trailer, it'd kind of be like uh, a trailer cam. Or no, that would be the trailer cam. There's actually four cameras then. So let's see here. We have in the cab, this kind of standard. This was a little further. And this one, which would have to be the uh, trailer cam. So, you know what? Let me actually grab a trailer and come back and see what that looks like. All right, so we hooked up to a trailer. So there's that camera angle. And yeah, there's that one. So that's definitely like the trailer cam on uh, SnowRunner. I guess that would be the closest thing I could think of to compare that to. In cab. I really like the in cab. The in cab looks really good. All the controls work. Bring it down to the farm here. And I do want to show you guys one other thing. Go back out. Let's hit the light, shall we? That there. Headlights. High beams. rear lights and that's it and then we have the beacons now this does have work lights on I yeah those definitely can't be rotated okay but if we go back in here let's check out the lights parking lights it lights up on the dash headlights high beams uh, rear work lights signal light and check this out beacon it's even got a beacon light that is pretty cool because I don't think there's another vehicle in the game that actually has an indicator for the beacons to be on so very cool well, let's take a look at this in the store and again under trucks and it is the lizard roadrunner plus I really like that black and gold, but main color, a ton of colors. Metallic blue, chrome blue, satin blue. Man, it's just 
So let's see here. Metallic blue. That's your metallic. That's your chrome. Which, duh, that looks really good. I like that a lot. Then you have your satin. Which, that looks pretty good too. Let's see here. What other colors do I have? Metallic pink. Chrome pink. Satin pink. Metallic gold. Chrome gold. Metallic copper. Silver steel. That's an interesting look. And let's see here. Rim color. Oh, wow. So many choices, guys. So many choices. Black steel. Metallic gray. Is there not a chrome? Hmm. Go with chrome dark gray. Ah, it's doing that thing. And for the design color. Let's do the chrome dark gray. Yeah, I like that. So many options, guys. So many options. Um, although the road runner still looks like it's gold. So maybe that just stays that way, which is, uh, it's okay with me. Some of the other options, wheel brand, lizard, Trollerborg, which those are, those are beefy tires, boy. Michelin, Nokians, back to lizard, rims, five different rims. Let's see here. Do we have... Okay, so the Lizard are the only ones that offer different rims. Fenders. Long painted. Long design. Covered paint. Covered design. Half paint and design. And none. Attachers. You have rear, rear trailer. Low and high. Front, three point, and you can have both. So that's pretty sweet. And just set up. You got 790, 950, and that's it. Decals, all mud flaps. Okay, decals are on the mud flaps. You can barely see it. Cabin back. Now, I'm not seeing any decals on the cabin back. I'm not seeing it at all. Cabin front. Okay, so that's the cabin front. Cabin back in mud flaps. Oh, is that the cabin back right there to the side? Yeah, apparently cabin front in mud flaps. Cabin front and back. And then all. And this will run you 186,400. Not too bad for what you get. This is really something but let's move on to what we really want to show in this video all right so here we have the jack moose mowing pack this is what i personally have been waiting for we have these zero point mowers now this is one pack right here you get the mowers and you get these front attachers this is a snow plow and where is the other one? Gotta find it, guys. This is yeah, and that's just a uh, a leveler. So, <laughs> what we have here is the Jack Moose mower. This is the Moet. There's three different versions of this. You have the Moet, the Mulchet. 
and the baguette. Now, obviously, the baguette has a bagger on it, so when you mow it, it'll collect the grass in that bagger there. The mulch it will mow it and mulch it up right away so it won't leave any grass. So if you wanted to just, like, cut your lawn and you didn't want any swaths or anything like that, this is the one you're going to want. And you have the mow it, which this one here is like a standard mower. Uh, it'll leave a swath out the side there. It'll go right out that side shoot, just like any other typical riding lawnmower. Now, the trailers. Um, let me see. Yeah, this trailer here and this here, this came with the update for the TLX truck. So this doesn't really have anything to do with the uh, the Moet pack. These trailers here, this is yet a different pack that you have to download. So I didn't know that right away. Uh, I was trying to find these in the store, and I couldn't find them, and I was getting frustrated. But you have to go to the Mod Hub, and you have to look under trailers, and you have to download these separately. These do not come in the pack with the mowers. It's a, uh, it's a separate mod, so... That's something to keep in mind. Now, these trailers are pretty cool. Um, all these trailers come with a, uh, an option where you can have a fuel tank up there. And I am going to get to the mowers, but because, you know, I'm going to try to do what's, what's quick first. So, as you can see, this one here, this has a fuel tank on the front as well. And this one can hold two mowers, as you can see, and you can strap them down properly. Very cool. And if we look right here, you can see this gauge. The fuel gauge here, it's at all zeros, right? So, I'm going to hop in the truck. And we're going to start filling. Now, you can see down below where it says diesel. It's filling up. 120. Go back over here. And now you can see on the gauge, it actually says 120. Again, that's one of those things, it's it's a little, it's minor, but that little bit of detail is just so cool. It, it, it's really big with me. All right, so let's hop on one of these and see what they can do, shall we? Let's, uh, let's get this one here, the mulch it first. So there it is. Pretty cool looking machine. Start it up. Now I will say, guys, these are fast. 28 miles an hour top speed, that's pretty good for a mower. And you can mow pretty fast with these. So what we'll do is press L1. Uh, this is... Okay, that was unfolded. We're going to turn on the mower. And... And it will mow fast, too, so <laughs> definitely keep that in mind. Now, the one thing I will say, for a zero turn, it only does the zero turn thing at low speeds, which, honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. Because in real life, a zero turn mower, you know, they can pretty much turn on a dime at top speed. But... If we just lightly on the gas, it'll turn quick. But if you're going full speed, it just kind of turns like a regular mower or any other vehicle. So it does have a beacon. I don't have any lights on this one. The roll bar, you can retract it or extend it. And that is the mulch it. Okay, so now let's take a look at the mow it. This has a snowplow attachment on it. I just put it on there just, uh, just to show you guys what it looks like. Obviously, it's going to do what it says, uh, plow. I haven't tried it yet.
So again, unfold the mower, turn it on, and as you can see, this one puts the swath out to the side, just like you would expect with a mower. Again, the steering is, uh, I don't know. It should be, uh, I think, a lot more responsive than it is, but. Yeah, I mean. Not really a zero turn, is it? <laughs> but that's the mow it. Now this one does have lights, and they have underglow. Now I should probably, I think I'm going to fast forward tonight towards the end of the video to show you guys this, but it's really cool. So there's the underglow, then you have those work lights, back work lights, beacon, and let's see here, you can turn those lights. I want to say the front ones. Front loader. Extend front loader. Yeah. R1. And the right stick, left and right. You could turn those lights as well. Alright guys, so that's the Moet. Okay, now we're in the Bagot. Now this one is a little different. Because this actually acts as... A loading wagon um, you see I had some grass in here so what we're gonna do is okay that was unfolded let's pick up no <laughs> turn on the mower now it says uh, turn on or turn off zero turn more with bagger but that doesn't turn on the bagger, so now we have to select the bagger, which now we are not on the bagger. Now we are. So now it says turn on a forage wagon, so now we're going to turn that on. And now we will be good to go. Now, I will tell you with the, uh, the bagger on, you can't mow as fast as you can with the other mowers. You won't be able to, to mow top speed, you can only get nine miles an hour out of it but it is mowing and you can see the bagger is filling up and all these mowers they have the same features as each other except for you know this one you can bag it now I will say when it stops bagging it'll just leave grass it won't shut itself off or anything so and it only holds 1,500 liters. That's that's the top you can get out of it. Now, the one thing I want to show you guys that's pretty cool is this trailer here. Oh, also, this is like a new decal for the TLX. I just thought this was pretty cool for breast cancer awareness. That's uh, that's a nice touch. I uh, I like that a lot. So you might be saying, hey, you know what? I got all that grass back there. What do I do with it? Well, on this trailer, you can actually fill this trailer up right here with your grass clippings. If I just pull this ahead, uh, this should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, okay. I want R1 triangle unload here. That'll tip out. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. I think that's a, a really cool... A really cool touch that they did with this. So 
So we'll get back in the baguette. And back it on the trailer here. And as you can see, the prompt comes up. I love that idea. That's a really cool idea. Um, I don't believe the trailer. I don't believe this trailer will take two full loads. It'll leave a little bit in there, so uh, just keep that in mind. But that's still very cool. I like that a lot. So those are the three zero turn mowers. Now, the one thing I do want to say. These gas tanks here, they fill up, but I can't get a trigger. I can't find a trigger to fill up off them. Uh, I've tried everything. I've driven all around it. I've detached it from the truck. I've really done everything I could think of, and I cannot figure out how to fill up from there. So, if any of you guys watching this happens to know how to fill up from here, uh, leave me in the comments below. I would really love to hear it. And also, while you're at it, you might as well join my Discord and we can discuss all of this stuff in there too because I'm in there quite a bit. Recently, I haven't been so much because uh, I've been doing IRL stuff, but that'll change when the weather starts to change. But, uh, yeah, those are the mowers. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look at these in the store. They are under mowers, of course. You have the mow it, the bag it, and the mulch it. $78.50 for the mow it, $88.50 for the bag it, and $10.850 for the mulch it. Take a look real quick. Rims, stainless steel, dark steel, aluminum, chrome, all the good kind of colors that you expect with A2 squared studios. Let's uh, put the polish on it. Main color, again, that's your main color. Design color is kind of your uh, your gas tank. Yeah, your tanks, I believe, here. Uh, so let's just do that there. I like that. That looks pretty good. So lights... You have standard, you have front lights, roll bar lights, which it doesn't have the roll bar on it at the moment, and all lights. We'll leave it on all lights, attachers, standard, rear hitch, front loader, and standard. Now, you can't put both on here, so keep that in mind. Underglow, standard, white, green, red, blue and standard again additional features you have the roll bar and standard wheel setup you have set one set two set three set four and set five so pretty cool that you could change the tires on it uh let's see here the mulch it the bag it again the bag it, the only difference is I want to say, yeah, the bag attacher. But you can put the bag attacher and the front attacher on this one, like you've seen. Or just the bagger. Everything else is the exact same. Mulch it, again, exact same as the, uh, the mow it. Uh, standard rear hitch. Yeah, and again, I'm... All of these, you can only have either the rear hitch or the front loader. You can't have both, which is a little strange, but not really a big deal. Um, I don't really see plowing with one of these. Um, I, I live in northern New York where we get snow measured by the foot, and I never see them plow with a zero-turn mower. Um, that's not to say that it's not a thing. <laughs> it's just not a thing... I've ever seen so 
that's a little interesting. Okay, so going over to tools. Well, let's take a look at the trailers real quick. This is going to take a while. This will take a while. So, is that one of the new ones? Hmm. Okay, you know what? That's not there. Give me a second, guys. Okay. The uh, the bagger for the uh, the Moet uh, Baggett is under loading wagons. So that took me a while to figure out where this was. 1600 capacity standard, which is 350 liters, or inflated, which is 1500. Which that's not a lot, and I can't get back to the color. I'll have to back out and go back in. Oh, I really don't like when that happens. Main color, you got all the cool colors. And, uh, okay, that's that's the main color. That's odd. And that's the design color. Does it cost you anything to change the color? $1,600 for the baguette. Okay, so these trailers, maybe they're low loaders. That could be. Yes, they are. Okay, so we have trailer A, trailer B, and trailer D. Now, <laughs> the configurations on these is what's going to take forever. So, on trailer A, main color, rim color, design color, all the same, guys. I'm not going to go over all the colors. Options, deck, deck and gas tank, the tip side box, tip side box and gas tank, or you can have it enclosed. Enclosed with the gas tank. And back to the deck. Wheel setup, standard, Nokian, work tires. Attacher type can have either gooseneck or bumper pull. So let's go back up here. Uh, let's. With the enclosed, you have the option of decals. We can have standard. Jack Moose decal, John Deere, uh, A2 squared long hair, and back to standard. That is $4,500 for the standard trailer A. Trailer B, $2,800. This is a smaller one. Deck and gas tank, enclosed. And closed in gas tank. And deck. This will fit one more. Floor type. You can have wood. Metal one. Let's zoom in. Metal two. Metal three. And back to wood. Wheel setup, same thing. Standard. Nokian. Work tires. And bumper pull. Or bumper pull. Bumper pull raised. Blah. Okay, so I should say this one here, I forgot to tell you guys, trailer A. Without the front part, yeah, this can hold two mowers if you don't have the tipper box on it. This will hold two mowers. And then we have trailer D. And this is a tipper trailer. Tipper, tipper with gas tank. And, oh, I don't like when it does that. And back to tipper. Decal, standard, Jack Moose, John Deere, A2 Square, standard. We'll set up, again, standard, Nokian. Work tires, gooseneck, or bumper pull. And the uh, the cover slides off that, and it'll open up, and you could fit two mowers in there as well. Okay. Let's see. Have I showed everything? We will take a look in here real quick. This is where you'll find... Yeah, right here. The yard it tackles on the back of the truck. Decor you can have inactive or active, which puts the uh, the weed eater and stuff in there. Lighting standard or work lights. Again, main color you can change that to whatever your heart desires here. And that's 3500 And then you have 
the yard at trailer, which it pretty much does everything the other one does, except it's just in the trailer. So, that is that. All right, guys, so that is the whole zero-turn mowing landscape modding package that we have that we just got that I for one thing is really cool because I really love mowing in the game it's one of those things that it's probably one of my favorite things to do and I think they did a really good job on these I really do we really needed something like this in the game especially on console um prior to this all we had was the uh the the prof profile hopper profi hopper something like that's called I forget what the exact name of it is, which it wasn't bad, but I like having the option of a mower like this that you can mulch it because sometimes, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to leave a swath. You just want to cut grass. So the only other thing I think we're going to look at is we're going to skip time ahead tonight and we're going to see what the underglow looks like. All right, so it is midnight, and I guess this is as dark as it's going to get, which that moon is so bright. Um, it doesn't really get that dark. It's weird because the sky is still blue. But, uh, so here's what they look like with the, uh, the underglow, guys. <laughs> Pretty cool that you can pimp your lawnmower out. But they look good. I like it. Right, guys so that's what we're going to end this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like these lawnmowers as much as i do like i said i i think that the uh the zero turn on them could be done a little bit better but uh overall i think they did a great job i think the details are really great i love the trailers it's uh it's a good addition to the game so guys if you would ever be so kind please hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed as always, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.